Hey everybody. Uh, this evening I want to shoot a video and I want to talk about feeding fish frozen peas. Uh, this is my garami tank and as a lot of you know I'm having some issues with my snakeskin garami that you can see in the left hand corner there. I believe she is having uh, swim bladder issues right now. I'm not sure that that's what's going on but it seems very indicative of that being the case. Now that being the case, I've had quite a lot of viewers suggest that I feed her frozen peas in order to alleviate swim bladder issues. So, I wasn't exactly sure what the point of feeding frozen peas to a fish was, although I had my suspicions. So, after having several viewers suggest this to me, I decided I would have a look into it and see if it was indeed what I thought it was all about. And it actually is. It's, it's pretty much what I thought it was all about. Um, the way a swim bladder is positioned in an animal, in a fish, is very near its digestional tract, its intestines. So when an animal, and this is most frequently experienced in fancy goldfish whose bodies have been misshapen by deliberate breeding to give it that fancy look, um, it puts undue pressure on its intestinal tract and it makes it actually difficult for it to move its bowels. And the pressure that then begins to build up from the constipation presses against the swim bladder and prevents them from operating the swim bladder properly. So the only purpose the peas really serve is to keep the fish regular and therefore there will be no um, impacted fecal matter that's going to you know, affect the, the swim bladder of the fish. It, it's simply um, a, a kind of an unrelated issue is causing the problem with the swim bladder. That is extremely unlikely to be the case with my snakeskin garami. I have had issues with garamis in the past becoming constipated by giving them much too high of a protein diet. That's how I learned not to do that. Um, I'm familiar what a constipated fish looks like and this fish is showing no signs of that at all. Um, she gets a really, really high fiber diet. She eats fiber in the tank all day long. Uh, most of what I actually feed this tank is vegetarian bait, you know, vegetarian uh, granules or at least algae wafers that do contain some proteins. Um, but the, the sinking granules are actually for vegetarian fish. And then, of course, the bulk of the food they get is right here from the tank. They just eat that water sprite and chew on the roots, and they destroy the temple plant. And she's just in there eating vegetable material all day long. So the idea of feeding her peas is a good idea, but it wouldn't really serve any purpose for her. A, I don't think she's constipated, and B, um, she gets plenty of fiber anyway, which is what the peas you know, served to do for the fish. So if she is having swim bladder issues, I think it's going to be unrelated to constipation. It could be bacterial, uh, it could be microbial of some sort. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, again, to me, her rear end seems, you know, her, her back half seems to be paralyzed and that seems to be more going on than simple swim bladder issues. Um, but to clear up what peas do and why peas are recommended for swim bladder issues, it's because swim bladder issues are often caused by, um, you know, the, the primary issue is constipation and a secondary problem that happens and it becomes noticeable when the swim bladder issues develop as a result of the constipation. And in that case, um, feeding boiled peas is a very good idea. So if you do that, you want to take as all natural pea as you can find, unsalted, no preservatives, etc. Uh, you want to boil it until it's soft and then you want to shell it. You don't want to put the coarse shell in the tank. You want to just sort of squeeze the pea until the mushy insides come out and drop that in the tank. And any kind of vegetable eating fish should gobble that right up. Most fish love them and it will help keep your fish regular. So if you do have fish that are not really meant to have a very high protein diet, it's not a bad idea to give them a pea or two every day anyway. Uh, it's good food for them and it helps to keep them regular. So thanks for watching. Hope that helped to clear things up. Again, I appreciate all the input with what I've got going on and I will continue to update you and keep you posted. So thanks for watching this one. Please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, again, there will be plenty of updates to come and I do lots of other videos as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon in the next one.